What is Shambhala? Shambhala is a steel roller coaster located at Port Aventura World in Salo, Spain. The ride opened to the public as Europe's tallest roller coaster, taking guests up 76 meters high before allowing them to plummet back towards the ground below. On top of this, it became the second hypercoaster in Europe to be constructed by Swiss roller coaster manufacturer Bolliger and Mabillard. Unfortunately, however, Shambhala is no longer the continent's tallest roller coaster as the record was broken in 2017 by another attraction located at the same resort, Red Force. Shambhala opened to the public on the 12th of May 2012 at the cost of 25 million euros. Interestingly, the ride is themed to the ancient myth of Shambhala, the mythical lost world located deep within the Himalayas. Shambhala is said to be an inaccessible paradise, a cradle of eternal youth, a center of happiness, and a kingdom of both peace and wisdom. The myths forego that the king of the world resides in this lost city, a city which connects every continent on earth, the city of Shambhala. As guests enter the ride's plaza, they are said to be exploring Central Asia on a journey to find the mythical world. The attraction's design has been inspired by the Kingdom of Bhutan, seen from the plaza's entrance arch to the interesting station design. Snow is also present throughout the area, further iterating the exploration and Tibetan theme. Once guests have navigated the ride's queue line, they board one of three vehicles, each of which seat a total of 32 riders per train. Unlike other similar roller coasters, Shambhala features trains which seat visitors in a V formation. Not only does this increase the length of the train, but also helps to isolate individual guests, exposing them to the surrounding elements. Once they have boarded, the trains are dispatched from the station building and undergo a right-hand turn. At this point, riders begin to ascend the lift hill. They slowly climb 76 meters high, obtaining breathtaking views of the park itself as well as the nearby coastline and ocean. Once they've crested the lift hill, the trains quickly plummet down the 78 meter descent at the maximum vertical angle of 76 degrees. It's at this point that riders enter a short underground tunnel and reach the maximum speed of 134 kilometers per hour. After emerging from the tunnel, guests enter the attraction's first floater airtime hill, giving them the sensation of total weightlessness for a brief period of time. They fall back towards the ground before entering Shambhala's signature element, its huge ampersand-shaped track structure. Riders navigate the upwards and then downwards 540 degree helix, which leads immediately into a speed airtime hill. After a pop of ejector airtime, guests are subject to a second large airtime hill, followed by a descent into an artificial splashdown element. The trains of the ride appear to enter the water, causing a large splash to occur, produced by a series of water jets. Visitors complete two further floater airtime hills before entering the ride's brief mid-course brake run. The trains undergo a sweeping left-hand turn, a final airtime hill, and an upward ascent into the attraction's final brake run. Throughout the entire airtime-filled experience, guests navigate a total of 1,564 meters of track in approximately 64 seconds of ride time. That's measured from the moment the train leaves the lift hill to when it hits the final brake run. Because of this and the three individual vehicles, Shambhala has a large maximum theoretical throughput of approximately 1,680 riders per hour. Upon its debut, the ride received fantastic reviews. Many people enjoyed the long, smooth experience packed with large amounts of floater airtime and other interesting forces. Shambhala quickly became known as the best roller coaster at Port Aventura World and as one of the best attractions within Europe as a whole. However, with the construction of newer roller coasters throughout the continent, does Shambhala still remain as Europe's best hypercoaster? What's your opinion?